Welcome to Con Innovations Limited. It's great to be talking to you again. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to control a process and introduce you to a tool called the CNX tool. If you're looking at process control, this is one of the fundamental tools that will help you understand how that process works, what are the things that we need to make sure we have good governance and control over, and how we can make sure that we maintain great quality throughput in our process. If you're running a process and you're looking for help in trying to understand and map that process and understand what it's telling you, please reach out to us at Con Innovations. Details on the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. Uh, we would love to be talking to you and helping you to, to uh, control your processes and look to create great output as a result. So the CNX diagram. What is the CNX diagram? Well, the CNX diagram looks at three things. It looks at, uh, the first one is C, which is controls. The second one, which is noises. And the last one, X, which is the inputs. Now, interestingly, in a CNX diagram, we don't actually map the output because the output comes for free. If you've ever played a racket sport or you play golf or you do any sport activity, what you'll find is having hit the ball, it's too late to start deciding where that ball's going to go. That ball will go as a result of how you've swung the face of the bat, the face of the club, uh, the face of the racket, the angle of attack, the spin that you've put into it, all of those factors, all of those inputs define how that ball will travel. And equally, there are noises which are affecting the flight of that ball in terms of wind or pressure or all sorts of things like that that we need to be aware of. So when we are mapping a process, we want to look at these three things. So we'll start off always by mapping the noises. And noises here are the things that you cannot control. What we mean by noise is a natural source of variation. So a noise is a natural source of variation. What do we mean by that? The wind, the temperature, the humidity, the day of the week, the operator to operator, the, whether the operator is male or female, whether they're tall or small, whether they're, um, whether they're left handed, right handed, uh, whether it's batch one, batch two, whether it's supplier one, supplier two, all of these are noises which will affect the process. And so we need to map every one of those noises. Now, once I've mapped all of those noises for this process, and I might want to do it step by step by step, so for each one of these steps here, I create a CNX map, and I list every one of my noises. What I then have to do is I have to place a control. Now, what is a control? A control is a process or a procedure that we use to contain the noise. Note the word contain. We can never remove a noise. You can never stop humidity. You can never stop temperature difference. You can never stop wind direction. You can never stop batch to batch variation. What you can do is contain it with specs, with conditioning rooms, with uh, procedures, processes that you put in place. So for every noise, there has to be a control. So every one of these noises has a singular or dual control that locks that noise. Now, if you have a noise which has no control, or you let the control go. So, for example, we decide that we're not going to have ways of working. We're not going to have standard operating procedures. We're not going to train our operators. The ways that those operators do things now become significant in my process. 
and the noise, instead of being contained by this control, instead of being held in check, that noise now starts to drive my process. Okay, so we now have a noise that's driving my process. What we haven't mapped are the inputs. The inputs are the factors that you choose to adjust to allow this process to run. So if you're welding something together, the temperature, you might tweak it. The pressure, you might tweak it. The run time of the machine, you might tweak it. The dwell time, you might tweak it. The pack time, you might tweak. Those are factors you have chosen to adjust, allow the people to adjust. Now you want to look at our module on design of experiments, because that will talk to you about how those factors could be significant and you need to understand them so that you're allowing people to uh, interact with things that in themselves don't drive other things. So these inputs are the only ways I've got of controlling my output, which is here. And I might have one or more outputs for my process. So I might have a quality, I might have a quantity, I might have a weld strength, I might have um, an accuracy of document. All of these are my outputs. Now, when my noise is driving my process, my natural reaction is to change the input. An input will not affect or swamp the effects of a noise. The only way you're going to get control of this process is reenact that control. So if you're looking to create a good process control, my suggestion would be that you map out your process and then you put a CNX map on every step and you understand how those noises work together. If you'd like some more information on this, contact us at Cotton Innovations Limited, details at the bottom of the screen. We'd love to help you with mapping your processes, helping you deploy cause and effect, uh, sorry, uh, cause and effect tools like CNX diagrams so that we can help you develop and uh, improve your processes so that you're able to um, match the quality expectations that you're trying to deliver to your customer. Thank you so much for watching this video. We look forward to contacting with you and working with you and helping you deliver your processes. Uh, please reach out to us, details at the screen, on the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much, goodbye.